Hey everybody, Chris here for Directions Bushcraft. Couldn't make it out to the uh, to the woods today, uh, so we're stuck here in the city, unfortunately. But we can still practice and play around. And I wanted to show you this uh, new deadfall trap uh, today. Real easy, real easy to set up. Um, we're just we just have a little prototype here <laughs> in the forest you'd want to use some bigger bigger items uh, especially a bigger smashing device something with more weight like a big log but this is our figure four setup I have two sticks on either side to keep this log in place also you could use the same setup in the forest and it would actually funnel your animal into the trap itself and stabilize it at the same time so here's our trigger stick and our figure four obviously and we would put our bait on this end and I'll show you how to set this all up but that would be essentially the deadfall uh, mechanism you'd want to use heavier items in the woods if you use a rock, you'd want to use a heavy rock, obviously. These, uh, these, the reason I like using big, long, heavy logs is because they tend to lean over to one side. So your trap's never going to get stuck straight up and down. It'll never stick on these, on these, um, on your, on your figure four sticks. When it's tripped, it'll always fall and tend to go to like one side. So you'll, it'll never, the trap will always go off. We only need three sticks with this. This stick, in fact, is one stick that I batoned in half. So I batoned it in half. And um, the first stick, you want to carve a chisel point into the end. The other end of the same stick you want to do this upside down L shape. So I got my chisel point and upside down L shape. Now you can do this on either side, whatever side your whatever side your trigger stick is going to lay on. Because essentially it's going to go up against your trigger stick like that. Now that being said, your trigger stick just needs to be a short little stick. You're going to put the bait on this side. You're going to carve this out with an edge here and an edge here. That's where your sticks are going to catch. Okay, so an upside down L chisel point trigger stick with a notch there now for your third and final stick you're just gonna have this plain old stick and you're gonna carve a seven notch into that you see how that kind of hooks on the end there right here it creates a seven. Okay, so to measure these up, you just lay your chisel end, carve it first, kind of lay it up and measure it up against this stick, carve your seven notch and let it fit up in there. Now once it's fit in there, Once it fits up in there, then you can kind of hold them together like this. Once you hold them together, you can find where the bottom of this seven notch stick ends up on your chisel stick. Normally, what I do is I just press them together like this and then I put my knife up against this edge and that tells me exactly where to cut my upside down L. Once I find where that lines up, 
I just cut my upside down L, cut my trigger stick, and my trigger stick should lie right in between, right in between those. Now, you'll have to work with it a little bit because it is a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you can set it up pretty efficiently. You should just be able to set it and it should just stay like this. Now you'll have to tweak your chisel notch with your seven notch and you'll have to tweak your trigger stick notches to latch on both ends of your sticks. Now that's where you'll have to set it up, kind of mess with it, play with it, carve a little out of here, carve a little out of there. That way you can get it to stick just like this. If I keep my seven notch and my chisel point secured in this hand, take my bait stick or my trigger stick and then I can just bend them together slightly and it should set with tension. So this hand holding this actually as the smashing device keeping pressure on my allowing pressure to stay on both of these so I can just pinch them in and lock them in between that trigger stick if that makes any sense to you. So anyway, so we just set this up. We have our smashing device. See how it naturally wants to lean over to one side? So it naturally wants to lean over towards you. Let me straighten you up there. So it naturally wants to lean over towards you. This stick here is keeping it in place. And this stick here on the other side is also keeping it in place. So it's going to fall straight down. But it's not going to get caught on these figure four stick. So anyway, when you guys get out to the woods, get yourself some sticks made up, make them a little bigger than these. So go out and practice, get yourself a bigger smashing device of course with more weight, makes it a little easier to set your trap as well. But we were just uh, showing you guys how to do it for demonstration purposes. And that's a real easy way to make a figure four deadfall without cutting and tying everything together. So thanks for your views, your comments, and, support. and your support. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have fun out there. Gross.